Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the question finding a corresponding node of a binary tree in a clone of that tree. So we are given two binary trees, original and clone, and given a reference to a node target that is present in the original node. The clone tree is a copy of original tree and we need to return the reference of the same node in the clone tree. Note that you are not allowed to change any of the two trees or the target node and the answer must be a reference to a node in the cloned tree. So here we are given that the number of nodes in the tree is in the range of 1 to 10 raised to 4 and all the values in the tree are unique. The target node is a node from original tree and is not null. So in this problem we are given that the nodes have unique values but if you see the follow-up it is given that can you solve this problem if repeated values on the trees are allowed? Now let's see the various approaches and the idea behind the question. So let's take this example. So here we are given two trees. One is the original and the other is a deep copy of the original tree. The target is the value from the original tree which is 3. And now we need to locate this target value in this cloned tree and return the target node from the clone tree. So now, one thing that we know is we need to do a tree traversal while comparing the node with the target. So we'll traverse both the trees simultaneously and compare wherever we are getting the node in the original that was the target and if we get the same node, we return the corresponding node in the clone tree. So now comes the condition. For this case, we are given distinct node values. In this case, we can compare the value of the node and the target while we are traversing. But for the follow-up, we are said that what if the values are repeated? In that case, instead of comparing the values, we would be comparing the node itself. So now, the main thing that is left for us is tree traversal. So what are the approaches for tree traversal? Recursive and iterative. In both of them, we have BFS and DFS. In DFS, it would be a in-order, pre-order or post-order traversal, while in BFS, it would be a level-order traversal. We have covered all these traversals in detail in our tree data structure series and you can find the link to that in the top. Today, we will be solving this question recursively by using an in-order traversal. I'll give you a placeholder wherein you can plug any other traversal method that you want and the code will still work. So let's go ahead and code it up. So first of all, we'll take two variables that will be at a class level and that would store our target and our result node. In this method, we'll do this dot target equal to target and we'll call in order on our original and cloned. At the end, we will return the result. Now, this is the placeholder to place your traversal method. So here, since we are using the in order recursive traversal, let's just write the function. So now, if original is not equal to null, we'll do our traversal. And since here we are using in order, we'll go from left, root and right. So first what we do is we do an in order on left. Then we process the root that is if both of these are equal, the result will store the clone node. So this is our desired node. If not, we go to right. So that's all. Let's try to run this code. And we are getting a perfect result over here. Let's just try to submit this one. And it got submitted. So here we used in order traversal which takes a recursion stack because we are using recursive method and so the space complexity over here would go up to O of H that is the height of the tree and the time complexity would be O of N that is the nodes present in the tree. 
Other way to solve this would be by using iterative method that would not take up your recursion stack but then it would require some kind of stack or a queue. O of 1 solution for this problem would be Morris traversal but in this question we cannot perform the Morris traversal because we are not allowed to change any of the nodes and in Morris traversal we are supposed to change the pointer so that we can save the space. So that's all about the question and how we can solve it and what not we can do with this question. Hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one. Keep learning, keep coding.